haircut yesterday. Mm. She's not scruffy anymore. She's so soft yeah. and she smells yeah. good. Hanging out with Grandpa. It's Saturday, got some breakfast going. Here we are. Here we have some oatmeal pancakes, egg white omelet with some onions and peppers. And today I think I'm gonna try the blueberry Walden Farm syrup for my pancakes. So Yami's putting together her breakfast right now. It is about 8.30. So like I said, it's Saturday, so we have our boot camp this morning. And then right from the boot camp, we're going to the gym. I think you're still sore from Tuesday. I think she's still hurting through that too. I'm hurting. My schedule is kind of all flipped around because of our trip earlier this week. I had to move some, some things around, train shoulders, and I usually don't train chest and shoulders back to back because my shoulders are already sore from either or. And so I try to put a day in between. And yesterday I did just did some light back to kind of recover a little bit. And then today we're hitting chest. So that's it for the day right now. And uh, so, catch you later. So it's almost 1 p.m. And for the last probably two and a half hours, me, my dad, and my brother have been installing a floor. So my house is a little bit of a mess right now, but it's gonna be my little brother's new room. Look, look at the life right there. Chips and gummy worms. But anyways, we've been doing this hardwood floor. Slowly but surely, the ending is where we kind of get hung up on and this. This one's gonna be tough. Might just have it. So this is where things stand so far. We've made some pretty good progress, I'd say. Only have a few more, they're called courses here. So every board is called a course. And there's like basically a full one left and then all these other ones. And what this is a kind of funky because you have to go and angle everything. So my dad is experienced in this. And uh, so he's measuring everything and cutting. And kind of slowed down a little bit, but my little brother's already started moving. <laughs> So he started moving in apparently. So hanging his banners, getting his room set up. But I don't know, who knows? Maybe I'll change my career to flooring because I say we're pretty pretty good at it, right? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh just talked to my dad. They're gonna finish the last couple courses on their own. Because once he gets those cut, it's gonna be pretty smooth sailing. And uh, I'm gonna get ready to head to the gym. Just finished making lunch and I'm going super bro. Like uber bro right now. That's not that bro. This is sweet potatoes, broccoli, asparagus, and chicken. That's pretty bro. You're right, but it doesn't look bro. It doesn't, no, definitely does not look bro. Yeah, it doesn't look very bro, look very bro, but it definitely is very bro. Because I have a confession to make. I wanna be 100% transparent with you guys. I did have some of the Cape Cod chips that my little brother was munching up dun, dun, dun. upstairs. I wanted to be up front with you guys, so I had a moment of weakness, and I had a couple handfuls of them. But, he cheated. you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna, like, <laughs> beat myself up over it, but I am gonna shoot under my carbs and my fat today. So, that's off my chest. I'm gonna eat this. We gotta get to the gym fairly soon, because I completely forgot I'm DJing tonight. And so we have to get to the gym, I'm gonna try and get to the grocery store, get back in time for me to shower, change, and uh, get off to a club. So, um, yeah, eat quick, and I'll catch you guys probably at the gym.
What's up guys, just finished up the workout and I'm gonna do something a little bit different today and I'm gonna Tarantino it on you guys. So I just finished up and I'm gonna talk about the workout as uh, I lay over some footage for you guys. So as you guys can tell, we are at my old gym. Uh, we usually test my body fat here. However, we don't really have time to today. The time that we're coming here is a little bit different and so even if we did take it, it's way different timing than it was has been in the past. It's usually been like 10.30, 11, 11.30, and now it is 4.45, and so we're just gonna wait until we can get more consistency another week. But uh, Yami also wanted to get some posing in, and they have some Group X studios here, and so she's able to do that with some mirrors and kind of put some music on. It's uh, Saturday afternoon, so nobody's gonna be here, and she can kind of be in her own element. Uh, she also wanted the sauna, so she's in the sauna right now. We don't have much time, because we have to get to Walmart, and get to do our grocery shopping, then get home, and I have to change and get ready for uh, DJing tonight. So, on with the workout. Uh, a lot of the stuff I did today was supersetting. I don't normally superset just because I want to maintain my strength and put as much effort into lifting the most amount of weight possible. However, today, like I said, running a little bit short on time, so I wanted to speed things up and keeping the intensity up isn't such a bad thing uh, once in a while. So, first thing, I did do a straight set of my dumbbell, flat dumbbell chest press. Now, I just wanted to really hammer home just as much weight as I could in here, and then I moved on to three supersets after this. So really focusing on the negative portion, really lowering it as slow as I can, under control, and pushing it up as quick as I can while staying under control again. So getting a good stretch in the chest while uh, really trying to keep as much power and as much strength in there. So getting the best of both worlds, but still trying to increase my weight as much as possible. So played around in the 90s, not my heaviest, but not my lightest either. Good, got a good pump. Uh, really felt the chest working pretty well, so I'm happy with it. I uh, moved on to a superset of the Peck Deck Fly and the Low uh, low Pulley Easy Bar Curl. <laughs> I always get tongue-tied tongue -tied with that. Uh, so the Peck Deck Fly, just again really focusing on that stretch, doing the fly right after a heavy, heavy chest press, just really kind of flips your muscle. Obviously you can't confuse your muscle, but it, it just hits it with like a one-two punch. It's, you know, heavy weight and then a really, you know, uh, higher rep stretching movement where it really, you really feel almost every fiber in your chest. So really focusing on the stretch with that and getting a good range of motion, coming forward, actually squeezing as much as I can the elbows together. So not leaving that bend in there, coming forward and getting that extra couple inches out of the, out of the fly. Uh, paired with that, the low pulley easy bar curl. Uh, just leaning forward a slight bit so I'm not standing all the way up and coming all the way. You know, you're just coming up about 90%, maintaining a really, really good squeeze in that bicep. Pretty straightforward, keeping tension the entire time. After that, moved on to a incline dumbbell press. A little bit lighter weight, but again, just really trying to hammer home that upper chest. Now with um, trying to keep that incline a little bit lower than normal, so it's on, it, I think it was on like a second setting up. It wasn't very high up. It was probably at about 25, 30 degrees. 45 would be about right there, I was probably right about there. And so really trying to maximize the recruitment of the upper chest while minimizing the recruitment of the shoulders and the anterior delts. So paired with that, the hammer curl. Uh, you guys know what a hammer curl is, but some tips I like to do and uh, show you guys. Curl in front of the body just a little bit and again, come up about 90% of the way. You're not coming up all the way, coming up about 90% of the way in front of the body a little bit. And some people come straight up, I like to come an angle in front of the body so it kind of accentuates the outside of the bicep so helps with that peak. Uh, and the last superset was just a seated cable fly and a high pulley curl overhead uh, dual pulley. So with the seated cable fly again another really good stretching movement but as you guys probably see I'm leaning forward slightly and coming to and from about in front of my face, pulling it in front of my face. Now what that's going to do is change the angle in the shoulder bring it up. So if you guys actually do this right now, wherever you're doing, put your hand on your upper chest and raise up your hand. As soon as you start to get above 90 degrees, you're going to feel that tense up in that, again, that quote, upper chest. So if you bring it above 90 degrees and even with a fly motion, you can really accentuate that upper chest. And so I was just doing that, leaning forward slightly and pulling higher, a little bit higher than normal. Uh, paired with that, the high, high pulley dual cable curl. Just a really good isolation movement, trying to pull that pinky to that head as much as possible and contract the bicep. So, that was a really, really quick rundown of the workout. Please comment below if you have any questions. Hope you enjoyed it. It is now about 
10 of 5. We got to get to the grocery store and then get home. So I will catch you guys probably tomorrow because I'm going to be in a rush. I'm going to be DJing tonight. I'm not going to bring my camera. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. So I wanted to come up and check out the handiwork that they finished up. Looks like they did pretty good here, 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 and then they have some pieces there. And it looks like my dad had some trouble right there. That piece is going to be a pain. But everything else looks pretty good. He said he had a meltdown, and so he stopped. But seriously, I think I'm going to change my career to flooring because, I mean, this looks pretty good, if you ask me. It's the first time ever doing this stuff. So comment below if you think I should become a flooring expert. <laughs> Completely kidding. But just got home. Did the grocery shopping. I'm gonna make my dinner. It's about six. Uh, oh no, it's almost seven. Gotta leave by eight. So gotta eat, shower, change, grab my stuff, and get out of here in an hour. So let's do all that. And I'll probably talk to you guys before I leave. Here's dinner. Got a tuna steak with some broccoli and some sauteed onions. On top of the tuna steak is a garlic ginger soy sauce. I just threw it together real quick. Okay, so, top chef. <laughs> you know it. Guys, you gotta learn to cook because you can't just be eating crappy food. Like if I hadn't have made that sauce, it would just be tuna and broccoli. That's right? not why you gotta learn to cook. You gotta learn to cook so you can get one of them. For your woman. But not, not that one, a different one. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Girls love that kind of stuff. So guys, learn to cook. <laughs> so that's dinner. This is gonna finish off my food actually. I have a little bit more more protein, like six grams, but it's not a whole lot. I actually had some of that chicken, so it's probably more good. So, uh, because of the potato chip incident earlier, <laughs> I'm like I said, I'm shooting really low on my carbs and my fats. So normally with this, I would probably have like sweet potatoes or rice or something else, but I'm just having some fibrous carbs. Fibrous. Tomorrow is. This one, that one, and this one's that two one? year anniversary. Two years? September 4th. She's been putting up with me for that long. I can't believe it. But I'm not exactly sure what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, we're kind of making it up and we just bought the car so we're like, not kind of broke, we're really broke. And so we can't really spend a lot of money. But we're trying to figure out something we can do without needing money. Probably pack, might pack up some food, go on a hike, or go maybe to the beach. Maybe if it's nice out tomorrow, we'll see. I don't know. Again, planes are all up in the air. So I'm going to eat this, go work tonight, and then I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. All right, guys. So it's our anniversary. We got up really late. We got up at like 11 a.m. Took our time getting up because we don't get to sleep in very often. But trying to figure out what to do on our anniversary. And there's really not much to do in New Hampshire. So I was researching and researching. And she's been wanting to do a painting class for a while. And so I found one in Concord. We're gonna do it. I'm talk talking kind of quiet because she doesn't know yet. So I booked it. Uh, she thinks we're kind of doing flying by the seat of our pants, but I booked this. It's a uh, paint and sip. So usually you paint and you sip on wine or whatever, but obviously we can't have the wine, but it's still gonna be a good time anyway. So she doesn't know. We're gonna head out soon. And uh, I don't know how much footage I'll be able to get, but that's the plan. So I'll catch you guys when we're out. We just got done at this place called Chucksters. It's like a, a fun complex where they have mini golf and they have batting cages and they have go-karts and they have like a ropes course. And we just did a round of mini golf. We did skip um, three, of them. three holes because we have to go down to our next destination. She doesn't know where it is, but we're about to get moving. We have about an hour, but I want to make sure, I think we're pretty close. I think we're like 15 minutes away, but I want to make sure we're there early. Don't get lost because I've never been here before. half an hour early so we're gonna walk around just explore uh, this is Concord this is the New Hampshire capital this is like a little downtown area here uh, really kind of come up quite a bit since I've been here last I don't make very many trips to Concord so we're gonna enjoy this little downtown area it doesn't look like a bunch is open because it is Sunday afternoon on Labor Day weekend anything else? yeah um, we're gonna see the first thing and the salsa caramel is it on our plan if we split one?
can it be on our plan if we split one? So we're just stealing samples to crave that, to satisfy that sweet tooth. Okay. Where did we stop at? What's it called? Orange Leaf. Orange Leaf. We had two little samples, three samples. <laughs> Can we get one? Please? Can we get two? So, we stopped to get some iced coffees. Because it's warm out. And we are, I think we're almost there. But do you know where we're going in? Sure. Careful. Yeah. Almost ran into that. But, I think we're here. Oh! Oh, we're going to bed today! How exciting! Mm -hmm. Yay! Mm -hmm. And, I spoke to Michelle and she said you can have a glass of wine if you want. Aww! <laughs> so, we're here, gonna paint. Maybe have a glass of wine and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yours is dirty. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna be the next Picasso. <laughs> you look so proud. Brown. So I rinsed, I've taken my dark brush out of my water, I tried it on the napkin, it goes straight in the So I've dried off my brush and with my large ones flowers and I'm just gonna start now. That's crazy. That's really cool. So hers is bigger and so it looks like when we put them together it's almost like it's popping out at us. Right there. So that's pretty that's really cool. I like it a lot. So that was the paint and sip. We didn't really sip. <laughs> Sipped on water. We sipped on coffee. And coffee. But I think we're heading home now. Maybe we'll stop for some ice cream. Not. Well, let's check the show. Oh, show. I got it. We, we didn't, didn't sip. sip. So maybe we can we'll get, get some other goodies, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Home? Is it a paint night? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. People are admiring our work. Maybe we'll sell them. For, <laughs> we'll start. For, <laughs> we'll start a new. Five dollars. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're just heading home and uh, figure out the rest of the night. So uh, I'll catch you guys in a second. It is about 8.30 and we just spent probably the last, probably what, 45 minutes? Yeah. 45 minutes at the grocery store. Scheming. <laughs> We've been scheming. We've been planning out our 15,000 calorie challenge. <laughs> so we didn't want to quite come home. And so we went to the grocery store. We had to pick up a couple things. And it turned into just like going up and down the aisles and figuring out what had the most calories for the least amount of volume. And we found some really surprising things. So we, she made a note in her phone and we started assembling the list of what we're going to buy for this 15,000 calorie challenge when we do it. So. If that was we, fun. And we did find something, which I'm going to try, actually. Oh my god, I blow up that too. So I used to make this stuff back in New York. I made it a couple times and it was super good. We were walking down the peanut butter aisle and we came across this stuff. So I'm going to try it. It's obviously not like macro friendly, but I'm going to give it a shot and uh, compare it to how I, what, what I used to make. Here we go. Oh, this is the sun ice spoon. Sunday spoon. It's a special spoon that we have in my house called the Sunday spoon. I don't know if it's Sunday, like ice cream Sunday or Sunday as like the day, but we're but today's Sunday, Sunday spoon so. on Sunday. It doesn't look very crunchy, so I don't like it already. Here we go. 
<laughs> is it good? It's really smooth, actually. Does it taste like yours? No. Does it taste like Trader Joe's black and white one? Yes. That's pretty good. Approved. <laughs> You're not mad? No. If you guys live around Hanford, just I think in the, only in the Northeast, go pick some of this up. And here is dinner. So I am actually finishing off the day with one of Yami's old macro fuel meals that she's obviously on a meal plan now, so she can't have. And they've been sitting in the freezer and just wanted to get rid of them. So this is uh, ground turkey, broccoli, and I also added some of the sun-dried tomatoes we picked up tonight and a couple wedges of the uh, Laughing Cow Asiago cheese and this roasted garlic marinade. So this stuff is really good. Low in fat, whereas most marinades are typically like nine or 12 or 14 grams of fat. This only has three. So uh, adds a lot of flavor for a little bit of calories. Um, and then sprinkled some fat-free cheese on there just to give it a little more substance. And this is gonna finish off my protein. Bless you. Sorry. Bless you. <laughs> so this will basically finish off my protein and I'll have some carbs and fat to play with. So I'll probably have some fun with those a little later because we're watching a movie, but that's gonna happen behind closed doors. Not for you guys to see. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I'll probably, it's not gonna be clean. I'll tell you that. Ooh, it's good. It's gonna be dirty. So that's gonna finish off the vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was probably a little bit longer. Might have been. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already, click that little button right below to stay updated. This is coming up on week six. In prep, we got eight weeks left. Let's do it, it's go time. So I think some of the things to my plan are changing, adding in a little bit more cardio and seeing what my body does. But uh, before I go, I did weigh in at 207.8 today. I know I didn't film it, so technically, if you didn't film it, it didn't happen, whatever, the uh -huh. YouTube rules, but 207.8, new low weigh in, which is awesome. That was a three pound drop from yesterday, so a little bit of a steep drop. I'll probably go up tomorrow. We'll see, I just don't know. But 207.8, sitting there for now. We'll just uh, see how the rest of the week goes. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Hey. So I know I said my final meal was gonna happen behind closed doors, but it's turning out to be a lot better than I had originally planned. And so Yami told me I need to vlog it because this needs to be documented. So we have two pieces of reduced carb light bread. Strike number one. Fluff, R refined sugars, strike number two. More refined sugars, strike number two and a half. <laughs> and a shit ton of fat at 10 p.m. Strike three. <laughs> but you're doing the macros way. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm still hitting my macros, my non-training day macros. So actually my carbs and my fat are below where they even should be for non-training day macros. So you know, I, I, I'm justifying it, so get off me. But this is what's happening. Just the uh, cream of cookie butter, fluff, and peanut butter on this. So go ahead and spread that bad boy. Mmm. So again, I know being on prep, this is not supposed to happen, but it's our anniversary. Why is it not supposed to happen? I'm confused, why do you keep saying that? Uh, just because you're supposed to have protein and carbs together, fat and protein together, but not, try to limit just the fat and the carb intake at once. Okay. So. Okay. But you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm not gonna feel guilty about it, but I'm also gonna expect not to wake up at 207.8 tomorrow. But we'll see. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to enjoy this. We're going to end our anniversary on a good note. We're going to watch a movie and just hang out and enjoy each other's company. So, thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.